there is Kobe. Good morning, Kobe. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thursday, no, sorry, Wednesday morning, August 7, 2019. Today, the gospel is from Saint Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. Okay. So Jesus tells us a story. At the time Jesus withdrew to the, to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. What's a Canaanite woman? Huh? A woman from Cana. Okay, so she was not, she was not, she was a foreigner as far as the uh, the Jews are concerned. She's not uh, a Jewish woman. So she is uh, uh, a foreigner to this community. And, uh, and um, well, uh, not, nowadays we've been talking a lot about racism in America and things like that. I think this is very apropos as far as our uh uh, political situation currently is concerned but anyway that's a side uh, note but look at how <clears throat> accommodating Jesus is <clears throat> okay so let's uh, let's finish off uh, let's read have pity on me Lord son of David the woman said my daughter is tormented by a demon but he did not say a word in answer to her his disciples came and asked him, send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. So the apostles were already annoyed, right? Because she was maybe following, tag tagging along and, and just uh, insisting. She was persistent. Um, he said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Wow, well, our Lord was, you know, Practically telling her no, right? But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. See what our Lord is saying here? Well, I have to provide first for the need of my own family, my own children. I don't give to the dogs what I'm supposed to feed my own children, right? So, but then the, the woman still came back and she said, please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Wow, what logic. Very true, right? This woman is smart that she knows, yeah, hey, maybe you give the food to your children first, but you see, even dogs who are part of uh, the family, <laughs> they can eat the scraps that fall off from the from the the children's table. So she was like saying, "Well, you know, okay, I I agree with you. Okay, uh, you know, your first priority would be the Jews, but hey, give us also, you know, extend your mercy, extend your your charity to us also who are uh, not among the Jewish people." And our Lord marveled at that, not only that logic, but at that faith. And she said, Oh woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. So, <clears throat> of course, our Lord did not really mean to deny this woman, nor anybody, the, the mercy that he was ready to give her and to give anybody who asks and prays persistently and perseveringly. So of course our Lord was just testing them. Our Lord was just testing this woman. How far can this woman go? How, how <clears throat> insistent can she be? Okay? with her prayer, with her petition to have her daughter healed. That was all that our Lord was 
doing here. It was not that she was really, he was really going to deny her. He never did deny anybody, right? He never, he never really turned his back on anybody, whether it be this woman or the woman tugging on his clothes <coughs> or that officer who came to him begging that he goes to his house, right, and cure his, uh, his daughter. So our Lord never denied anybody and he will never deny anybody. But he has, he perhaps... Uh, wants to test our resolve. He wants to test whether we are really going to be persistent, whether we are going to insist on what we ask in prayer. Okay? So the lesson for us here is, is how we persevere in prayer. It's a lesson on perseverance in prayer. So uh, very clearly here, our Lord wants us to insist. Our Lord wants us to ask to persist in asking why 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 why, why do you think i thought i thought jesus himself said your father knows what you need even before you ask of him right didn't our lord say that okay so why is it now why will he want us to insist on asking why would he want us to persevere in praying if our if the father already knows what we need even before we ask why is there a need to pray? Why is there a need for us to ask? You know why? Because praying persistently, perseveringly is a manifestation of our humility. Look how humble this woman was. Lord, even the dogs, okay. I'm okay with being compared to a dog. But, but even the dogs, right? eat of the scraps that fall from their master's table. So please, even if you just have to treat me like a dog and consider me like a dog, I'm okay with that. But please, just heal my daughter. See, humility. Humility. Praying insistently, perseveringly helps us grow in humility. It helps us recognize our nothingness before God. It helps us uh, 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 tell God that we recognize we are nothing and that He is everything, that He is almighty. It's a recognition of the power of God. It's a recognition and acknowledgement of the power of God, that He can do everything. Remember, with man, it may be impossible. Many things are impossible to men, like trying to achieve sanctity on our own. We can't do that. But with God, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible, including all our human needs are possible if we approach God with humility in prayer. So for God to really grant our requests in prayer, humility is a very, very important disposition that we need to practice. We have to recognize that we are nothing and on our own it will be difficult it will be difficult but with god everything is possible but we still need to put our effort of course we still need to put our own uh, uh, struggle uh, and show god that we are really struggling to improve ourselves we're we're struggling to do what we need to do according to our human possibilities but we pray that he gives us the grace that we need on top of our efforts, on top of what we can possibly contribute to obtaining what we need to obtain. Okay? Just like this woman, I'd like to think this woman already tried to uh, help her daughter get well in many ways that she knew how, but she recognized her limitation. And now she asks God to intercede because that's the solution. The intercession of God and the grace of God to completely heal her daughter. Okay, So we have to manifest before Jesus, before God, the same perseverance in prayer. With humility, with gratitude. They go together. They go together. Humility and gratitude are the dispositions that God wants to see in us. Wants to see in us. Because as we insistently pray for the things that we are asking for the bigger the greater we grow in humility the greater we grow 
in uh, uh, that sense of gratitude and acknowledgement that everything good comes from God, that everything we have comes from God. So that is a very important uh, disposition and attitude to have when we are praying. And we should never give up. Never give up. Because our Lord will always have an answer. Sometimes it may be a no. Sometimes it may be yes. Sometimes it may be later. Right? Later. Or, and more importantly, when our Lord says no, it's only because He wants to give us something better than what we are asking for. And that's the way the charity and mercy and love of God works. Many times when we ask for things from God, when we pray, they may not always be the best for us. And boy, do I not have plenty of experience about this. <laughs> Many of the things that I have, uh, I have asked for and, and prayed for, God did not grant me. But He granted me and us as a family many more blessings than we had hoped for because of perseverance and praying, 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 praying with humility and with a sense of gratitude. Okay? Now, uh, now you might ask, and this is an interesting question I think we should ask ourselves. Are there certain prayers that God will definitely not deny us? Are there certain things we can ask God for that God will not deny? What do you think? Hmm? I think there are certain things that uh, God will never deny. And there are other things also that God will always deny. <clears throat> right? What are certain things that God will never deny us? In the top of my head, if we ask for graces, if we pray for the grace to improve ourselves, to be better, God never denies that. He will always grant us the graces for us to be better, to be more saintly, to be more holy, to grow in virtue. Okay? And in fact, we should be praying for those things, to grow in virtue. To be better in this area or that area or this behavior or to uproot that vice or to uproot that sinful tendency or to avoid temptation. God will never deny those kinds of prayers. He will always grant those kinds of prayers, especially because those things are, are asked for with humility. We know that we cannot grow. We're having a hard time to fight, grow this virtue of obedience, for example. Okay. Well, if we pray and pray and pray and pray for the virtue of obedience, then God will recognize it is uh, uh, we are doing that out of humility and that, and that He will be very ready to grant us the grace to grow in that virtue if we put the effort. Okay? It's still not without our effort. We still have to put the effort, but God will never deny us the grace to grow in that virtue. What else? God will never deny us if we ask for forgiveness. From our sins. He will always forgive our sins. He will always grant that kind of grace. Uh, what else? If we want, if we ask for something good for other people, for other people, okay? for, for example, for, for somebody's conversion, for somebody to go back to Mass, for somebody to uh, straighten up his life. For somebody else to gain a grace of this sort, of that sort. Or for somebody's healing. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, even physically. Right? God never denies those kinds of things. He always answers those kinds of prayers. Okay? So let's think about those things. Maybe uh, we should refocus our praying, our prayers. That maybe we should always think of others. Maybe we should always think of praying for virtues, praying uh, against to, to, to overcome our bad tendencies. And those kinds of things God will never deny. See? And Minnie here who's watching us, hi Minnie, also suggests protection for our family. 
Yes, very much so. God will always grant that protection for our family. So we, He will never deny those kinds of things. Okay? So as long as what we're asking for is for the good, either for ourselves or for the good of others, God will never deny those kinds of graces. Okay? So let's imitate the example of this Canaanite woman in today's gospel, today's mass, who persevered in praying, praying, persevered in praying with humility and with a sense of gratitude. Okay, that's it for us, folks. We're off to mass this morning. Have a good day, everybody. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. Who was that? Bye-bye. Wait. Yeah.